All right, y'all, we're going to be working on this dragonfly this week. It's going to be a really simple project. I've drawn, I've traced this dragonfly on a half inch plywood, half inch thick plywood, and I used my carbon paper to get it on here, okay? Now, you could use your router to route out these inner parts of the wings. You could use it to do these little circles here. What I want to do with this project is do a little painting technique in these places. And so I think if it's routed out, I will feel a little cramped trying to do the painting technique. So instead, I'm going to cut these out completely, meaning they're going to be holes. And I'm going to be using this wood, maybe not all of it, I don't know. Depends on how it all works out. I don't even know if this will work out. I'm just hopeful. <laughs> it might have been simpler if I just had another piece of uh, board this big as the dragonfly and then painted that with the technique. But unfortunately, I don't have anything big enough to go over the whole thing. So I'm going to try to piecemeal it like this underneath and like that. I don't know if that's going to work or not. I mean, there's not much space here. Who knows? I'll do the best I can. I don't even know if the technique's going to work. <laughs> but anyway, I planed these pieces of wood down to about a quarter of an inch thick. Like I said, the, the main piece is going to be half inch thick plywood. But these are fence picket wood here. One of the reasons why I prefer these is because I think I'm going to have to wet this wood. And this is, you know, it takes water better than the plywood. The plywood might swell. It might come apart because it's made in layers and all that kind of stuff I don't want to take the chance so that's why it's better that I just use these hopefully anyway the first thing to do is to drill holes in the places that I want to completely saw out with the um, scroll saw so I'm going to use the drill for that I know I made very big holes in here, but you only need a hole as big as will fit your blade through. So I just make them big because I don't like to struggle trying to find where this hole is as I'm trying to feed my blade into the hole. <laughs> These are the scroll saw blades I'm using. I'm using a number five, 12.5. TPI, it's Olsen Skip Tooth. So now that I've got all the holes cut out, all the inside pieces cut out. I'm going to cut out around the frame because I want to properly fit these pieces underneath. Here is our dragonfly fully cut out. You have to be careful with these wings because they tend to be a little flexible once they're cut out. One thing I, I tend to do, which is a bad habit, is to not change my blade even when I start feeling it go dull. That is the fastest way to mess up your project at a crucial moment because you're, you end up pushing the work through harder than you should instead of guiding it through and letting the blade do the work, you start trying to do it yourself with your hands. And when it's the blade is gone dull, it tends to want to go off course, no matter what you do. So it's best to just change the blade. They are kind of disposable. Um, they're not built to last forever. So don't try to do that. 
or you just put more pressure on your hands, more pressure on your project, and become more frustrated. I'm going to trace out the whole wing on these pieces like this with the original template. And I'm going to trace out this tail with the original template. That way I can cut out the outer part and know that this piece that's going on the back is not wider than the project. And the reason why I'm going to trace it is because of especially these little tiny pieces here. I couldn't get my pencil into here. Like if I were to put this under here and then try to trace it on here, I can't get my pencil in there. It's easier to trace that out using the template. So I'll do that. And then I'll cut out the shape of the piece and then I'll do my painting. All right, now it's time to paint. I have all our pieces here. I'm going to paint this main body with this ultra matte slate black and I'm going to be doing the inside of the holes with a technique I'm hoping that will work. It's like an accent color of Lagoon. So hope, uh, hopefully that works out. But first, let's see. I'm going to paint all these, these behind pieces with the Lagoon color and I'm going to paint this main piece the black color. All right, I realized that what I had was the dark gray, so I'm gonna use the black, not the dark gray, which was slate. Okay, now we're going to work on the uh, color, the paint technique that I hope will work. I'm going to be using this dishwashing liquid to do random design patterns all over these and then i'm going to spray paint black over it so what should happen is all the places the dishwashing liquid is shouldn't be covered with the black paint so i will then wash off the paint from these and what should be left over is a pattern of black and the blue i hope <laughs> now the holes in the dragonfly are very small especially on this one so i'm hoping that i can get good patterns where a lot of the blue is showing but some black as well i'm not sure how this will go but i hope it's going to work out by the way that's why i wanted to use the fence picket um for this part because i have to wash this wood i don't want to put plywood in water because who knows what will happen <laughs> all right so let's go I hope you can see this. Oops, bubbles. I actually want some places where it's like a lot so that, well, anyway, I don't know. Who knows? I want a lot of blue showing, but some black. So there we go. And now we'll put, uh, spray paint black over top of it and i think you have to do this pretty quickly before it spreads out and becomes not what you want it <laughs> we're going to let the black paint dry a little bit and then rinse off the um, dishwasher liquid all right so there we are everything's completed so now we're ready to do the glue up so I'm going to try using some CA glue along with some other glue. If I had some half inch nails for my nail gun, that would work great on this. I could shoot through this quarter inch into the bottom part to quickly attach these pieces. You can definitely order some half inch nails on Amazon. And since this is going on the wall, I don't need to paint the back. And now I'm going to just sit something heavy on here, let it dry, let the glue dry, and then that'll be the end of our project. So there it is. The project is all finished. You could, if you did this, of course, use a top coat, make it all shiny. I personally don't like my projects to shine 
Um, the only time I put a top coat on it is if I put it outside and I'm not doing that with this one. So, but anyway, there it is. Looks so cool. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, please subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think below in the comments and thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. <laughs>